you guys so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys here what I've been loving lately for myself for my daughter for my husband home beauty body fashion everything just the whole nine yards so I'm gonna start off with things that I've loved for myself here these past couple weeks the first one is the Milani um, lipstick and it's fruit punch 11 is that perfect pink everyday pink just and it smells it smells amazing it smells like fruit punch or i don't know it just smells fruity it smells so good it makes you want to eat it and it is so creamy and it's one of those lipsticks that you can just throw in your purse and wear if you're going to a date night or if you're going to pick up groceries and you forgot to wear makeup or anything, you're like, hey, I need to look alive. I need to look like I actually tried today. This will do it for you and it's so affordable. You can find it, I'm pretty sure CVS, Walgreens, I know Walmart carries them. I'm trying to think who else. I don't know, but it's so good and it's that perfect color. And I think it would look beautiful on just a bunch of different skin tones. It's just that perfect pink. And then I have two mascaras that is weird how I ended up with them or how I use them. Now, people tend to use beauty products in their own ways. Some people, you know, it's just everybody's their own, their own thing. Um, I like the Too Faced better than, or better than Sex Mascara. It has a very heavy wand, so it gives you good control. And at first, when I bought it, I heard the rave all over the internet. So I'm like, I have to go try it. I have to go get this mascara myself. And then I realized that it was dry. Like, I tried applying it. It was getting clumpy and dry. And I'm like, how? It's brand new. You know? So I'm like, what? So I did some research, and people were actually having the same issue. So they're like, hey, just add a couple, you know, eye drops to it. Shake it up and see if it'll do anything for you. And it did. And it tends to happen, and I notice with a lot of mascaras that just either sit there or just they don't use on a daily basis. But I do use it, and I just every now and then I tend to, you know, add a couple drops of um, eye drops in there and shake it up and you know move it around, and it does the trick. Now I have the next one is Maybelline the Falsy Push Up Drama, and it's I thought it was like a two sided mascara at first when I first got it. Nope, it's just this. I don't know I had a I did not like it from day one and then I saw well what they were trying to do with this mascara and I'm like you know what let me see what it will do for me so these two in my opinion do the job for me this does wonders for top and bottom this I tend to use it with no matter what mascara I pair it up with it works so good for your underneath your bottom lashes it really does it works it works wonders I don't know what other way to put it it really 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 does so I was like why not um the better than sex mascara is expensive I know they have a trouble size one and I believe now don't quote me on this I believe it's 15 bucks this is the full size one I can't even remember how much I paid for it I know this one runs $7.99 just depending where you get it from I'm pretty sure I got it from Walmart and then I have um the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and this is in the color Caramel Taff Taff Toffee, I believe. It has two shades. It has a highlighting shade and a contour shade. I actually like this to bronze up my skin. It works so good. This banana color looks so, I mean, it looks so nice. They're not powdery or cakey or anything. They have no smell to them. Personally, I don't think they have a smell to them. They work really, really good. I use this to bronze up my skin. Face. I know it's supposed you're supposed to use it to contour. I know that's the purpose of this palette to contour and highlight and all that. But I personally like it to bronze up my skin to give it that sunken glow. And I think as well this would go really really good with a lot of different skin tones. I'd be very very gentle hand when I go in there. If you if you do tend to have light skin, like really pale light skin, I would be very careful with this. And then lastly, but least, um, beauty product is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It's it's a MAC product. It's a 
a lot of people have different uses for it. Some people use it on their um, little eyeshadow brushes, you know, just to get more pigment off of their eyeshadow or whatever they're trying to do. I use it. I know you're not supposed to or, you know, you use it however you want. I use this as a setting powder because sometimes when I use, or not a setting powder, psh, a setting spray. And I know that probably this is not the purpose of this Fix Plus, but sometimes when you apply makeup on top of makeup or powders you can look very powdery and you don't want to look powdery you want to look like you have skin under all you know all the makeup you want to look normal you don't want to look like you're carrying just a bag of flour on your face and this does this for me i know a lot of people tend to say the same thing they use it kind of just to fresh up their face i know they have a travel size one i'm not sure how much this one costs i got this on sale I'm gonna say about $17. I know it's usually $25. So, um, and it smells so good. I think it smells like cucumber to me personally. It smells like cucumber. And I do tend to grab it and use it as a setting spray or for my eyeshadows or to even prep my skin. If I don't want to apply any primer, I just do this and start applying makeup. And the travel size one works so good. You just toss it in your purse. If you're not wearing any makeup or but you want to look like, hey, I have somewhat of a glow. I do. I did try today. This is it. This and it smells so good. It really, really does. And then I have a jewelry item that I recently got. And this, I bought at Pomato Moon. And this is actually made by Mud Pie. And it's in the jewelry. And it has a letter. It's a little gold rod. And as the letter is engraved with the letter E, that's for my daughter Emily. It's so cute, so so pretty. I love it. I just, it's been a one. I've been wearing it just about every day, <laughs> and it goes perfect with everything. So I was like, why not? Now I'm gonna share with products that I've been loving for Emily, just overall, just items that I've been loving for her, and they are skin and or more skin and body products. So, I've been loving these two. Emily struggled for the longest time with eczema. Um, if you don't know what it is, take it up. Take some time and look it up. Um, if you don't take care of eczema, it can become very pussy, very infected, very irritated, that kind of thing. And we struggled to find the right lotions for her eczema, very sensitive skin. And eczema lotions are so, can get very pricey. I know a lot of people are doing coconut oil. I've heard that's a good alternative. And that was, I, we were using that for a long, long time and it just stopped working. It just decided one day to another, just decided, that's it. I'm not going to work on the skin anymore. Like, I'm not going to do what, the wonders I've been doing for you. So, the Avena one has been my to go to. If you can't tell, I just about finished it all. I've been squeezing every drop of it. And um, I usually apply this after she gets out of the shower and I dry her down and get her ready for bed. Or just at bedtime and then before I dress her whenever I'm getting her pajamas off and throwing some clothes on her I use this or this this recently I've been using it I just bought it not that long ago but I do love it and I have no complaints about either of them this one is the ew searing ew, ew. I'm not sure don't quote me how to pronounce that but um this is actually very thick like a little bit of this goes a long way it does it's not as liquidy or runny as a you know baby like look it's not going anywhere do you see that it's not it's thick it's just so thick and it doesn't it smells kind of like when you open a tub of oatmeal that's kind of what it smells like and i mean these two i have no complaints i've just been loving them equally um, I was about to run out, so I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go and see what people say about this one, or you know, see, try a different brand. I was like, hey, this one, a lot of people have saying very, very good things about them, and has just as good ratings as the Avino Baby Eczema Lotion. So I was like, why not? Let's pick it up, you know. So, and it's not as watery as this one. It's a little more thick. They do have the same natural scent aroma to them. But they both equally do the same thing for Emily's skin. So 
I really have no complaints about them. That's why I've been loving them and been using it. But literally, a little bit of this goes a long way. I put, you know, like maybe a quarter size and it does her whole body. She is three and a half years old and she's pretty tall for her age. So that says a lot about this. This I did find myself using more and more, but I mean, they work really, really good. And the next thing is actually a toothpaste. And this is actually called Hello Kids. The brand is just called Hello, but it does say it have cute little logo. It says Hello Kids and it's toothpaste, natural friendly fluoride toothpaste fluoride toothpaste and it's in bubblegum flavored i know we tried the they have a couple different flavors and they say have some with fluoride in it and some with no fluoride in it and the one i've been liking or the dentist recommended for emily because we do have well water and we're not in city water is fluoride toothpaste make sure your toothpaste says fluoride and i know a lot of people feel uncomfortable when it comes to things like that especially People who don't like putting chemicals on their bodies or their kids bodies this is i mean a lot of people have been raving about this toothpaste who have little kids or just small children um it's naturally friendly like they said um polishes teeth tastes delicious um prevents cavities strength enamel and um aba accepted so and I know they have an adult line. I haven't tried their adult line. We tried the blueberry and the bubble gum. Those are the two flavors we've noticed at the store. They have fluoride in it. They do have a watermelon one, but it's, it doesn't have any fluoride in it. Um, and Emily was not a big fan of the blueberry one. She did not like it. Um, we used it regardless. It's just like every kid doesn't like, at least my child doesn't like brushing her teeth. But... We noticed that the bubble gum, we're like, well, she likes chewing on bubble gum, you know? Let's try the bubble gum flavor. She actually likes this. She does not scream her head off. She really, really, really likes it. Um, and, it and you know what? A lot of bubble gum flavored toothpaste for kids nowadays have that tingly mint kind of taste. And I decided to try it. I, it sounds crazy, but hey, if I'm going to let my daughter use it, I might as well try it myself. Um, this one doesn't. It doesn't have that minty bubblegum flavor i think that's what she hated about most toothpaste that they said bubblegum it's for kids but it had that minty taste and i can understand when you know you're little that kind of thing uh, it's gonna taste bad for for most kids um but this one doesn't so this is emily approved so we've been really really loving it and it's not expensive for all the rave and um you know it's very natural you know super popular toothpaste or i know they came out a couple months maybe a year ago as far as i've known um but i mean and it lasts a long time it really does and it's just i don't know she's been loving it so i have no complaints been loving this toothpaste no complaints whatsoever but yeah that's really it that's what i've been loving for myself for Emily and I want to see what else you guys are interested what other things you guys want to hear um, on my channel or just in general what you guys want me to review I would love to review things for you I might you know certain things you might like to um, for me to try or give my opinion and just because some of these things work for me doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you or that you're not gonna like them or you might use them a certain way or you might not use them or you hate them that's completely fine everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i would love to see what you guys have to say and give me you know just what else you guys would like me to talk about on this channel i would love to continue this so yeah just let me know